I'm going to do a little video on this custom Ford 300 straight six cylinder head. This was built out of two 5.3 liter LS cylinder heads casting 862 or 4.8 or 5.3. Uh, cut the heads, three cylinders off of each head. Welded up. Had to make our intake manifolds. You can buy these uh, flanges. And then obviously just cut one cylinder off each one. Set up for the two two barrel carburetors. Either your auto lights or Hollies or whatever. Uh, also built some headers for it that were some LS headers that had been damaged. So Work perfect for cutting up and making headers for this. <clears throat> Couple of things you have to do. This, uh, when you cut this, obviously there's a water jacket. We plated the water jacket off on either side, welded it in. So there's no way for water to flow through the head up to the thermostat and back to the radiator. So we drilled and tapped right here and right here. So that way we can put a half inch jumper around so coolant can get through the head. Also, on the other side, the LS has already have a small cooling packet passage on the front and rear of the heads, which I drilled and tapped a bigger size for coolant to run a jumper from one end of the head to the other. Obviously, I haven't got the motor together yet for this. It's uh, at the machine shop right now. It's kind of a custom deal. The crank's getting offset ground for a, just a little bit bigger stroke using 240 rods connecting rods and they're they're long long a lot longer than the 300 uh, forged DSS racing 331 stroker pistons so that way the piston to deck height is correct uh, Another thing, if you wanted to see how the bolt holes to bolt to the 300 are very, very close. You can see where I've had to modify these just a little. If it'll focus on that, you can tell it's just not quite perfectly round. I had to modify them. But... As you can see, pretty darn close. I've had this bolted on the block. It does bolt up square. Uh, the bore center line on an LS is a little bit less than the 300. So when we, so when I cut this head, it's actually 
offset. The bores are offset. So cylinder two and cylinder five are directly centered over the over the cylinders. The rest of them are twenty thousandths offset, which with the big four inch bore on the on the uh, three hundred, well, this one will be thirty over. But four inch bore, you have plenty of room. You can see. You can see you have plenty of room here, and I actually unshrouded these valves a little bit because of the bigger bore. But <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions? I'm sure I've missed some things, but I did have to for the thermostat here on the front of the head to make that work. This is actually is a 300 thermostat I cut a hole in the front of the head and I drilled and tapped so the factory Ford thermostat housing would fit on it which is no big deal cut the hole the right size so the thermostat would fit it it's pretty simple but this head was it did warp a little bit when it was welded uh, but nothing that nothing much it would we got it uh, we resurfaced it, it came out pretty good, so <clears throat> I think that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer whatever I can. And like I said, this obviously hasn't been ran yet, so I get engine back and on a test stand and get it all put together. We'll uh, definitely be making a video of it running on, on the run stand, so. Same way the valve cover, just cut it, welded it up, cut cut both valve covers and welded it up. I have to make a custom seal for that, but that won't be bad. Uh, also, I'll be running a Howard's camshaft in this engine, which is the biggest, it was the biggest off-the-shelf camshaft. I can't remember the specs right off the top of my head, but... Nothing huge, but <clears throat> should be quite a performance gain with this cylinder head. So the only thing I have question about at all is the if it's going to flow, the water's coolant's going to flow through it well enough to keep it cool. But that'll be something we'll test on the run stand, uh, and I think it will with the passage on either the intake side crossing over and on the exhaust side also there'll be that crossover so I think it'll flow through the head good enough that uh, I should be all right oh I'm going to run the factory I'm planning on running the factory uh, LS uh, rocker arms so that'll up valve lift a little bit compared to the Ford rocker arms also so but they'll bolt right in place make it easy you'll just have to get the correct push rod length for that which is going to be a long push rod so i'm hoping i can find a get some custom maybe three eighths three eighths push rods or something that's beefy enough that'll be able to handle it so all right i know what you think if you have questions i'll try to do what i can thanks